Welcome to One Step Past. I'm Bucky Wild, and this is Action Heroes of History, The Black Scott. It's an unusual story. How does a decorated tank captain become a legendary professional golfer? Tommy Armour was originally nicknamed The Black Scott, a reference to his hair color, and became even better known as the Silver Scott when he got older. The Black Scott was an appropriate handle during his fighting days in World War I. Armour was death on the Germans. What he did to the enemy, and what they did to him, was exceptionally brutal. When Armour's military career ended, he changed occupations in an unexpected manner, becoming a master of that one as well. Thomas Dixon Armour was born in Scotland on September 24, 1896. He had a rather ordinary upbringing. His father was a baker. Armour graduated from high school before studying at the University of Edinburgh. When World War I started in 1914, he enlisted with the Black Watch, an infantry battalion in Scotland that fought for the British. He was only 18 at the time. Armour apparently had drive and rose quickly through the ranks. He started as a machine gunner private, then became a staff major in the tank corps. Armour's time as a tank captain is where he really shined. World War I is most likely where he picked up the nickname of the Black Scot. His deeds were epic, and the Black Scot did his part in killing a lot of Germans. On a side note, does anybody else think that the fact that his name is Armour and he was a tank captain is just kind of cool? One time his tank stalled. The Black Scot jumped from the tank and killed a German soldier with his bare hands. This allowed the rest of Armour's crew to fix the engine. It also cleared the way for the tank when it was ready to move again. We always like to think of our heroes as indestructible, but in reality, they're not entirely invincible. Finally, a mustard gas shell struck his tank. It was in 1918 at what became known as the Battle of Ypres in Belgium. Only two members of a seven-man crew made it out of the tank alive. The Black Scot was in bad shape. He lost his sight in the explosion. His left arm was shattered. He suffered from shell shock, not to mention his various wounds. He got pretty beat up. Surgeons had to add a metal plate to his head and left arm. The road to recovery was long, but he eventually regained his eyesight. The sight in his right eye came back, but he was almost completely blind in his left eye for the rest of his life. Amazingly, he returned to active combat after this incident and didn't retire from the military until after the war was won. He would still be in recovery for years after this. Armour left the service with the rank of Staff Major. His conduct during World War I earned him an audience with King George V of England. Tommy Armour, the Black Scot, was an extremely tough, never-say-die war hero. However, Tommy Armour, the professional golfer, was gentlemanly, reserved, and, at least publicly, didn't display any fierceness whatsoever. He certainly didn't play off his military fame. As a matter of fact, a lot of people who know about Tommy Armour, the golfer, may not realize he was ever a war veteran. When recovering from his terrible injuries, Tommy Armour couldn't steady his nerves. He took up golf at the time as a way to improve. By Armour's own admission, he wasn't very good when he started. He was very shaky, but he found the game relaxing and interesting. It at least allowed him to think about something other than hurting. Once his vision improved, he started playing even more golf. Whatever drive he had to succeed in his relatively short military career followed him into his next adventure. As early as 1920, Armour won the French Amateur Tournament. He wasn't professional yet, but he was still very good. Armour moved to the United States, where he got a job as a secretary of the Westchester Biltmore Club. It was golf legend Walter Hagen who lined him up with this gig. It turned out to be quite fateful. 
Armour competed in important amateur tournaments before officially turning professional in 1924. As Armour's hair color changed, his nickname became the Silver Scott. His first big win was the 1927 U.S. Open. He had many big wins and set many records until retiring from full-time professional golf after the 1935 season. He had a flamboyant personality, but was never arrogant about his great skill. A lot of people who saw Tommy play thought he was fun to watch just because of how he carried himself. It was clear to see that he liked what he was doing. Armour gets credit for coming up with the term yips as a label for when an experienced athlete gets a sudden and unexplained loss of skills. He explained that the yips is what led him to quit playing tournament golf on a full-time basis. Where did he get this word? That's never been made clear, but I believe he took it from the name of the city of Ypres. At least just the spelling of the name. Uh, a lot of time, British soldiers, the way that the word looked, they called it wipers. And I do think that maybe he got yips out of it, or maybe he pronounced yippers. You never know. But I just find it curious that both yips and Ypres, they kind of match up in spelling a bit. And it would make sense that he would draw inspiration from that, since this is where he got his terrible injuries that affected his coordination. The Silver Scott was never entirely done with golf because he liked it too much. He competed from time to time in top class events for several years afterwards. He had been teaching at the Boca Raton Club in Florida since 1926 and continued to do so until 1955. Tommy became an American citizen in November 1942. He played in exhibitions for USO and Red Cross during World War II. In 1953, Armour co-wrote How to Play Your Best Golf All the Time with Herb Graffis. For many years, it was the best-selling book ever authored on golf. It was even adapted into a series of 8mm films. Golf equipment in Tommy Armour's name has long been established. His name has also lived on with a grandson, Tommy Armour III, who turned professional golfer in 1981 and has also had a successful career in the sport. Tommy Armour died in 1968 at the age of 71. There aren't too many people who can say that they had such great success in two careers that are miles apart. From fierce fighting man of World War I to groundbreaking professional golfer, Tommy Armour, the Black Scott, Silver Scott, is a true action hero and sports hero of history. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, leave comments, stay tuned for more interesting history videos that are guaranteed to grab your attention.